been a really good week. Seems to have gone extremely fast, uh, but as I just told the players, I've been very pleased with them. They've done everything we've asked them to do. We've had a gorgeous week of weather, and so it's been really good praxis. Uh, guys have been very dialed in, very motivated, and seem to be in really good spirits. And so uh, we're anxious to get going tomorrow, get on that plane and head that way. I feel like uh, this team is in a good spot, and until they prove me otherwise, they're, they're in a good spot of just taking care of business. Much like I've talked about, just do the things you need to do day to day to put yourself in a position to be successful. Um, you know, I challenged them just to get, just get some treatment, get some rest, get some sleep, you know, watch a little extra film, just, just do whatever they can do to put themselves in the best position. Anytime you go on the road, it takes a little extra, it takes a little out of you just to travel and, um, you know, in Atlanta and getting on the near side towards Athens and just, you know, it's, it's not the simplest of travel. So uh, we have to try to sacrifice a little bit during the week and really make sure we're rested up. Yeah, he, he's uh, really done a, a good job. We've been very cautious with him, and um, he's um, definitely not 100%. So really appreciate uh, Darian giving it everything he can, and I know he will. Um, I really greatly appreciate Darian. Last week it would have been very easy, um, you know, with a person, that the future that he has when you do get a legitimate injury and get hurt. I mean, he was, you know, uh, he was hurting different between – injured we would never let him play injured but it was definitely one of those uh, things where it hurts and, uh, and and so he's really fought through that last week and he's fought through it the best this week and really appreciate him and the, the sacrifice that he's making for the team Mark everybody I've talked to thinks that this is going to be a low scoring game a defensive struggle does that change the way that you game plan through it throughout the week at all? No, I just never know how things are going to go. I mean, no, nobody knows. Uh, that's why we play the game. That's what makes it so fun and exciting is we just can't anticipate the things that are happening. You know, there's every game's different. So we'll see how it goes and adapt and try to adapt and overcome like we always do. Yeah, I think it was Mike Tyson who said everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yeah. How important are adjustments to yeah. the team? Because Georgia's going to come out, they're going to want to punch you in the mouth. Well, there's no doubt. But I think you've seen us uh, take a punch. And and uh, and uh, regroup and throw one back, you know. So, you know, I spent some time with Iron Mike, and you know, I I, I went at it with him pretty good. I think I I could have lasted ten seconds, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your defense Brad's getting some more national attention. How have you seen him grow? Yeah, yeah, Brad deserves all the attention that he gets because you know I think it's hard sometimes on defensive coordinators. They don't get. Uh, um, you know, people appreciate them when they're around them at, their, at your school, but nationally they don't always get the respect that they deserve. But Brad's done a remarkable job, and uh, it's really nice for me um, because as we win games and doing all these things, you get distracted. You know, you just have more to do. But I have I have 100% uh, faith and confidence in Brad and John and uh, Chris and Frank. They just do a great job. And so um, – you know, just greatly appreciate them, and, and he's done a really good job. And, and uh, you know, especially with, uh, you know, the way we play, I feel like he's gotten our guys to play above their capabilities, and that's always what you're looking for, to play as hard as they possibly can and be a fundamentally uh, well-coached team. And so really appreciate our coaches and what they've done to this point. You, you, you guys over here and you yourself have talked up this Georgia defense quite a bit. Do you sense anything about your guys this week that I, I mean, I don't know if we need that, you know, to the first six games, we haven't needed that to, to motivate us, you know, and so whatever, like I always say to those kind of answers, I don't know, I'm not using that if our players want to individually, whatever they need to do to motivate them. But uh, we take pride in what we do and the way we play each and every week, no matter what people say. And so it's just a matter of keeping that consistency going. Because to this point, they've certainly played hard, and uh, you know that's what we got to continue to do. How about Liam? I mean, the guy goes to the Rams; they win the Super Bowl. He comes here six and zero. Yeah. Do you think he realizes how difficult this, this game is? 
he knows how difficult it is. I had to send him to go get an IV and pick himself up a little bit yesterday. I'm like, bro, this isn't the NFL, this is the SEC. And I'm like, so he was he was beat down, and I'm like, go get an IV, pick yourself back up. He's uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's feeling much better and uh, he's working really hard. But it you know this season beats anybody down, especially play callers. You mentioned Monday that Flags was not available against LSU. Was that a discipline? Did it was. You, he's back. It, he's here. He's ready to go. How's he responded? This Good. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, Morgan X, another question. But read about the Georgia defense. One story I read focused on that they use a free throw. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is a free throw? Yeah, so we've, we've, we've been doing it for years. I don't, I don't necessarily, we don't call it a creeper, but uh, uh, it's a simulated pressure. So you're bringing guys that looks, like, you know, so from the same look, it could look like you're bringing four, five, six, you know, and you're bringing from one side or the other and replacement blitzes. So a simulated or a creeper, a lot of times defensive guys will term that by just bringing four, it's just a different four, not just the four that line up right in front of you. So that's a simulated pressure. So if you start bringing five, now it's pressure. Bringing six, it's more of a pressure. Bringing seven, you're bringing the house. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and we've been doing it for probably five years. Uh, Matt and I, uh, DJ and I, you know, started with some simulateds, and Matt and I and Brad's used them, and so we've we've been doing that. Mark this uh, McLean, Smoke, Rodriguez, three-headed monster. How have they kind of assimilated into their roles this week? They, they're they're great. I mean, uh, all the guys are ready. They've been very unselfish and you know, different skill sets, but but yet we could run the same offense with any of them. So uh, we're confident in all of them. You, you mentioned DJ. I mean, you had Eddie back, and now we saw DJ um, Elliott. What what message should we take from, from that? Is, is there something you're? I mean, to... no. I I mean, DJ's been here before you saw him. DJ came and spent three days with me or so during camp and watching football or maybe more. I don't remember, but stayed at the house with me and watched film and studied football and spent time with each other and, you know, prayers for his daughter is fighting a, a really difficult time right now. And so uh, just because they don't work here anymore don't mean they're not friends with me still. You're a loyalty kind of guy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, I'd like to believe so. Mm-hmm. It, it feels different because it just is different. You know, I, I don't like to put comparisons on it because I have great admiration for that team that we had. And uh, I like this team. And we're right in the middle of it. So it's definitely different. I, I don't really necessarily want to try to compare it. Yeah, they're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to, um, you know, all those guys, uh, you know, Boulay's really got to step up, Justin, Josiah, uh, Tray Trayvon Ripka, uh, all those guys have just got to play at a higher level. Uh, Khalil, you know, has got to get some snaps and that's tough sledding for a freshman against these guys, but he has to, we need, and we need to get some out of them. So um, I anticipate they're going to play hard and step up and, and, and play well. When you mentioned after he played in Florida, you know, like a true freshman, Khalil, how, how did he respond to that? After you I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just, I mean, I'm not worried about, you know, we, he knows. I mean, it, you know, goes with the territory. You're going to get, you know, critiqued and, and uh, coached and evaluated and need to play better. But that's not a surprise. That's no slap on him. You know, that that's... I need to get better. We all need to get better. You know, as best you can, try to improve every day. So, I don't. I don't think it affected him one bit. Yeah, same way. Very, very, very similar. I mean, obviously Stetson, maybe a few more design runs, or he could pull it a little bit more. And uh, but, both really good players, and both. Um, you know, are going to run this very similar offense. There's 
so much hype earlier in the week, obviously, for this game. What have you liked about how your team has kind of settled into the week? Really yeah. Preparing? yeah, just like I said, I think I like the past couple weeks the way it's been business as usual, just kind of very business-like, doing what we need to do each week. That's all, you know, that we can control. And I've been putting a lot of pressure on them to just try to sacrifice a little bit as far as getting their sleep, you know, and they're, they're college students. They have, they have studying, they have friends, they have people, you know, wherever they're staying, you know what I mean, maybe keeping them up. But it's like they have to sacrifice, get some sleep so they can get here and be very attentive. Uh, that's the only thing I've really pushed, you know, is just do do the best they can as far as that goes. So we're 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 prepared. We're ultimately prepared every day. And uh, even tonight. Tonight's a big sleep night. They need to be getting some rest and get off their feet and we have a travel tomorrow and so um, there's something unique and challenging and in and in and, and fun in a way to go into a hostile environment and get on the road. We've been home five out of six six weeks, and as I told the players, we all have distractions when that happens. We all have people in that we want to see, spend time with. They have family in town. They get pulled in a lot of directions. There's been a lot of media, but we have to separate that, and they've done a good job of separating that. Now it's a it's having a strong mindset, getting on the on the plane and on buses to go to Athens and the, and to play a, the number one team in the country. So you better be prepared and and focused on what you got to do and, and rest it up. And, and so I've really pushed hard on that all week, and, and it feels like they have because they've had really good energy in practice.